five biblical discoveries you probably don't know about. On today's video, I'm going to share with you some of the top five biblical discoveries that help us know the trustworthiness and the true history of the Bible. Make sure you watch all the way to the end because number five is really amazing. Number one is the Tel Dan inscription. In 1993, the excavators at Tel Dan uncovered an inscription with the Aramaic letters B-Y-T-D-W-D on it. They were convinced that the word means House of David in Aramaic and dates to the 9th century BC. The inscription had been sealed by an ash layer dating to around 722 BC. An ash layer is an archaeologist's dream because anything sealed beneath that layer must be dated earlier because there's no possibility of intrusion by later artifacts. Pottery directly beneath the destruction level dates to the 9th and 8th centuries BC. And therefore, the House of David is most likely from that time period as well. Number two is Hezekiah's Tunnel, the most dependable water source for the city of Jerusalem during the Israelite settlement was the Gihon Spring. However, its location outside the city walls was a big problem. During attacks, the inhabitants were cut off from their vital water source. In 1867, explorer Charles Warren discovered a vertical shaft cut through bedrock, allowing the people of Jerusalem to reach the waters of the Gihon Spring from behind the city walls. This shaft was probably built originally by the Jebusites. Hezekiah's tunnel sloped gently away from the Gihon Spring to allow water to flow from it right to the Pool of Siloam inside the city walls. To find the tunnel of Hezekiah is such an amazing discovery and again shows the true history spelled out in the Bible. The Bible is not made up. The Bible is not full of stories people wrote to try to figure out God. The Bible records real history in the making through the power of God. Hit the subscribe button and the like button if you like this video and answer this question in the comments. Have you ever been to Israel? Yes or no? Number three is the crucified man bone. You may have heard of this discovery if you watched my video called, Can We Really Trust the Bible? But it's so amazing, it's worth repeating. We are all well aware of Roman methods of crucifixion in the first century AD. But now, we also know it from the remains of a crucified man discovered at a site just outside of Jerusalem. During a crucifixion, criminals were attached to the cross by their hands and their feet. Their feet were fastened in a way different from what we commonly see. The Roman executioners made a crude rectangular frame of wood in which the heels of the victim were pressed. Then an iron nail was driven through the right part of the frame, through the largest bones in the foot, and then through the left part of the frame as well. The free end of the nail was then bent by hammer blows. The bent nail and bone seen in the picture shows the remains of a foot bone from a crucified man. Yet another discovery showing the validity of the Bible. Crucifixions really happened during the time of Jesus, and now we have physical evidence to show it. Number four is the Moabite stone. In 1868, a missionary in Jerusalem found a stone tablet for sale that appeared to be from ancient times. The sellers broke the tablet into a number of pieces to sell them one at a time to make more money. Fortunately, a copy of the tablet was made prior to the breaking up of the tablet, and the copy is in the Louvre today. On the tablet is a text written in Moabite dating to the 9th century BC. Prominent in the text on the tablet is the king's version of the war fought with Israel in the 850th year BC, in which Moab revolted against 
King Jehoram of the northern kingdom of Israel soon after the death of Ahab. Of particular interest is that the Bible records the same incident in 2 Kings 3. Here is yet another discovery that proves the Bible is real history. It's the Pontius Pilate ring. The Pontius Pilate ring was found in Jerusalem. The name of Pontius Pilate, the Roman official who ordered the king killing of Jesus, according to the Gospels, is mentioned in thousands of sermons every year and is familiar to countless people. But little was known about his life and work. To the very short list of clues about Pilate as a historical figure, archaeologists have added one more, a 2,000-year-old copper alloy ring bearing his name. The ring was discovered in, 19, in the 1960s, one of thousands of artifacts found in the excavation of Herodom, an ancient fortress and palace south of Bethlehem in the West Bank. But it was not until recently that researchers analyzing those objects with advanced photography were able to decipher the ring's inscription. It reads, Of Pilots, in Greek letters, set around a picture of a wine vessel known as a crater, and is said by archaeologists to be only the second artifact from his time ever found with his name. The findings were published in the Israel Exploration Journal in the Archaeological Review in Israel. The report says it is unlikely that the ring belonged to Pilate himself, in part because such simple rings usually belonged to soldiers and lesser officials. But to someone as wealthy and powerful as a prefect, the report also says we think it implausible that a prefect would have used a simple, all-metal copper alloy personal sealing ring with a mo motif that was already a well-known Jewish motif in Judah before and during his rule. But we have a ring inscribed with the name of Pilate, and the personal connection just cries out. It could have been used for official correspondence by Pilate himself and his officials who had to sign his name. So that wraps it up. Five amazing archaeological discoveries proving the truthfulness and the factual history of the Bible. For more on similar topics, click the like button and the subscribe button and maybe even the bell so you will know when I publish my next video. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.